is about what caused that private jet to crash onto I-75 in Collier County Friday. Thank you for staying with us on the Night Beat. I'm Amanda Hall. And I'm Russ McCaskey. New video obtained today should help investigators in their efforts to figure out exactly what caused that crash that killed two people with five people on board. The Night Beat's Michelle Alvarez spoke with experts about the steps the investigation must take. According to the FAA incident report, the plane crashed following engine issues. Just feeling uh, very bad for uh, people who were hurt and the families. We feel we pray for all of them. They do happen. I, I would suggest that they're relatively rare. The National Transportation Safety Board is investigating the cause. The NTSB responds to approximately 1,200 of these types of crashes every year. The aircraft wreckage was taken to a facility in Jacksonville and the cockpit voice recorder and the flight data recorder were sent to the NTSB headquarters in Washington, D.C. They're going to look closely to the aircraft to see if there are any damage that can lead them to some uh, uh, findings. They have to check and put all the pieces together. It's highly, highly unusual to have a situation where a plane would lose both engines and to have that happen almost simultaneously raises questions. I talked with Bob Foley who has a commercial pilot's license and was a military aviator. He said crashes like this are rare and said NTSB investigations involve three primary areas, the pilot, the aircraft and the operating environment. It's not necessarily aimed at placing blame, but determining the cause so that if it's mechanical, it can be addressed with other like type aircraft or if it's pilot error, procedural reviews and retraining may be necessary, all aimed at preventing scenarios from happening in the future. In Collier County, Michelle Alvarez, Wink News. Michelle, thanks. The National Transportation Safety Board said a preliminary report should be available in about 30 days. If you're